Today we are making this cute, happy little dashboard, so stay tuned. Hello and welcome back to my channel. Now we all need a little cheer in our days right now, so I thought why not put that cheer right in your planner. So this happy, cute little dashboard is really gonna make you smile when you open up your planner. Make sure you stay through to the very end because I have a really fun ruffle tutorial and it's really cute adds a lot to your planners so make sure you stay around for that okay so first we're just going to measure i eyeball everything i just measured against the inserts that i already have if you're in a traveler's notebook it needs to be twice as wide as one of your traveler's notebook inserts so you can fold it over if you're in a disc or six ring all you need to do is punch you don't need to have the double width just it's just simple width and then punch on the left okay i'll let you watch the decorating and i will be back when it's time for that ruffle Okay, so the first thing that you need to do to make the ruffle is to have another piece of paper the same size as the dashboard. If you're in discs or rings, it's going to be identical, exactly the same size. If you're in traveler's notebook, you just need to do the size of the front cover. I round the corners here so that I have sort of the same thing. And then we're going to get into the good stuff. Here comes the ruffle. So what you need to do is to take a roll of toilet paper from your bathroom. I know a lot of us have hoarded and we've got lots at home, so I want you to take an extra roll. We're not gonna use a lot, we're just gonna use a little bit. Make it so that it's sort of thicker, and these ones really nice because it has sort of embossed flowers on it, so it's really good, it's really sturdy, but if you don't have sturdy paper, that's okay, use what you have. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to put down a lot of adhesive, because this stuff can really, come off so just slather on the adhesive i was actually going to use packing tape 
but I think my kids used it for a craft and I can't find it anywhere, so I'm sticking with the score tape. Then what you need to do is don't break it off just yet because we're not gonna we're not sure how much we're going to need. Fold over that first edge so that the end is really nice and soft, and then you're just gonna accordion fold it all the way along. Now if you have a snap that folds over or the elastic of a traveler's notebook, stop halfway through right in the middle where the snap where the snap folds over or where the elastic will be cut it to the right length and then fold over the end again and we're going to do the same thing on the other side so that when you fold over your snap or the elastic will have they'll, there'll be room for it and it won't mess up your pretty ruffle so again we're going to start we're going to fold over that edge and we're just going to accordion fold all the way over it now you should have a little bit of a margin this ruffle should stick out about an inch or so past the edge of the paper and we're just going to keep folding accordion folding all the way to the end Then once we get to the end, we're going to fold it back again, cutting, cutting the excess. Try not to push too hard at the top. Don't fold over your paper. You want it to be a nice, graceful, soft fold. You don't want a hard, crisp fold here. And then I want you to sort of test it. See what it looks like. Check if it's where you like it because now you can change it before we actually stick it into the dashboard. And here I found that it wasn't sticking out from my, my notebook far enough. So I decided to pull it out just a little bit so I can see it when the book is actually closed. So that means when I go to stick it down, I'm actually going to have my the, the second piece of paper stick out just a little bit so that I have more room. It won't be flush with the front cover. That way I'll have more ruffle sticking out of the book. So I'm just adding lots of extra adhesive to make sure that it's going to stick well. Here's where you can use packing tape if you have it just to stick that paper down so you know that it's not going anywhere. You're not going to see the packing tape because it's going to be covered up by the front of your dashboard. So line it up nice and straight if you want to sort of push it out so the ruffle sticks out more, feel free to do that. And once it's straight, you're going to stick it down nice and tight. And there you have it. Isn't it cute? And who would have thought? It's toilet paper. Everyone has it in their house. And since we can't go shopping right now, this is fantastic. Such an easy way to add such elegance and style to your planner. Any planner you have. And there you see the elastic fits in really nice. It doesn't mess up the ruffle. Super cute. I love the contrast with my Outlander planner. I just love the way it looks. It's so, so pretty and so freaking cute and cheap. I also did another one in my little pocket planner and I love the contrast between the upscale high-end planner and of course inexpensive toilet paper, but it really looks classy. It really looks elegant. And I love it. I love it. I can't wait to take this out and show it off. Once we're all allowed to leave our house again, I really want to take this out and show it off. And now here's a look at the two of them together so you can see how pretty it is. It really is such a nice, elegant look to your planner. I really can't think of anything that would be more classy right now in your planner than toilet paper. April Fools. <laughs> I don't know if you thought if it was a good idea or not to put toilet paper in your planner, but it, it it was fun. It was fun. It just takes our mind off, lightens things up in these um, really stressful times. But you can do the exact same thing with tissue paper. It looks much nicer and it's a little bit classier. <laughs> anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Go make some dashboards with tissue paper instead. Let me know in the comments below how many rolls of toilet paper you have in your home. But don't spoil the surprise. Just put the number. Don't say I have 16 rolls of toilet paper. Just put the number 16. So in case someone reads the comments before they watch to the end of the video, the surprise won't be blown. Okay, stay safe. 
do something fun today. But if you like this video, no matter how crazy it was, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe so that you'll get more tutorials. There'll be less of this crazy toilet paper nonsense. Yeah, you can click here on my little face to subscribe. And here are two more videos that I think you will like. Have a fantastic day and happy planning.